name is Christopher Brown. I'm the curator for the Children's Literature Research Collection at the Free Library of Philadelphia. The paintings are all original. They were painted by N.C. Wyeth, and uh, we're very lucky in that we own 12 of them. Um, 11 were created for the Anthology of Children's Literature, which was a huge book in its day. This is the third edition, but um, the ones around the room were painted for the first edition. Uh, with the exception of Mutiny on the Bounty, which is behind me. The paintings were created in the late 1930s, early 1940s, and they were purchased anonymously for the library in 1941. Uh, the paintings have not gone, undergone a lot of movements in the past. There has been a rumor at the library, it's folklore, that the paintings are never allowed to be moved, and that's not true. Um, in recent years, we have done a little bit of moving here and there because we were concerned about UV and light damage. So as a result, some of them have shifted around the room to put them in the best spots currently possible. They were all cleaned back in uh, the 2000s, and uh, they're currently undergoing the process now. They're all on the wall, but one of them just came back from a cleaning. So the, um, the Adventure of the Giant Squid was recently cleaned in-house, and it was resealed into its case to make sure that it is as safe as possible. Anytime you have something on display, the factors in the environment around it are going to influence it. So right now, they are UV protected behind the glass, and all of our lights have UV covers, and we try to keep the, the shades uh, pulled so that there's no UV light coming in. But even in regular light, anything that's out and exposed is going to fade, even if it's a very, very, very small amount. Over, over several years. So we're try to, we try to walk the tightrope of making sure that things are available for people to see, but also that those things are in the best conditions possible so in 300 years, people can still see them. As part of the way to make the room more inviting to children, uh, the staff of the Free Library wanted to paint the room to match the paintings. So they called up Mr. Wyeth and said, we'd really like to know, since you have so much blue in your painting, if we can have your recipe for the color blue that you use. Because this was back in the 40s when artists, and artists still do make their own paint. They use their own pigments uh, to make a color that is their, it's like a signature, only they have it. Uh, of course, Wyeth said that he was not going to give us his recipe for Wyeth blue. Um, and our, department, our art department instead found the closest shade of blue they could match. And that's why the room, the bookcases, are painted as they currently are. So this is the third edition. Uh, our first edition is currently in, co in our collection care department um, because it needs a little bit of work to keep it in great condition. And here's a picture we have of Snowdrop. This was painted in the late 30s, early 40s, and the author at the time, her name is Edna Johnson, as she was putting the, the work together and collecting them, she decided that she had some unusual translations. So if you come to the children's department, you can see that she chose to name the character Snowdrop. Now in the late 1930s, 1939, Walt Disney came out with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And that cemented the name Snow White in the American culture. So from the, after the first edition, every edition has changed her name to Snow White and the Seven Dwarves but the painting still bears the original name of Snowdrop. And anyone who uh, wants to visit the library is always welcome to come in. Our collections are open for everyone to see and enjoy. And we hope that someone comes in and has more questions. We love talking about our treasures. Mm -hmm.